What's up guys? Today we are going to be talking about rear brake upgrades. Now there's not a lot of rear brake upgrades even available for honestly most cars because the rear brakes don't do that much of the braking so a lot of people overlook them. But it is nice sometimes to have a bigger rotor back there and I do think that when you're trying to do like a really good all around build, little details like the rear brakes definitely set you apart from someone who would have overlooked that. That being said, some of you may remember that I picked up some GXP calipers and brackets for the rear while I was at the junkyard not too long ago. And I've done a little research on those and looked at the cars and stuff and it turns out they are not a direct bolt on to the same year standard Grand Prix because the regular Grand Prix, including the GTP, had new types of calipers that had integrated parking brakes and the GXP still had the style that the parking brake was in the drum in the middle of the rotor. It just so happens though that that makes it a direct bolt on to the 97 through 2003 version of the Grand Prix with pretty much no modifications. So let me show you a little bit of that because we are going to be doing this on the 99. So the first part of this is, as always, to lift and support the vehicle by jack stands. Once you have got it up here in the air, you're just going to remove the wheels. Then you're just going to remove the rear brake caliper brackets, take the entire caliper bracket and pads assembly. Do not disconnect the hose yet. I always wait to do that till last and just lay it out of the way and then the rotor should slip right off. Just going to take a second to point out the differences in these rotors. It doesn't take much to see that they are way, way different in size. The internal parking brake shoe part, portion of this is supposed to be the same and feels like it probably is the same but that is where the similarities end here we have a solid non-vented disc here we have a much wider vented disc that's also cross drilled and interestingly enough the hole to the fins is on the outside of the rotor and the back of it is actually solid so it's very different but should be a big upgrade so with everything disassembled and prepped and ready to go back in the only thing to do was reassemble and pretty much everything was just bolting it back on just like it would have been. The one cautionary tale I will tell you is if you're buying aftermarket pads that come with hardware, be careful because the hardware that I got with my pads was not shaped correctly on one side and was scraping the rotor so I wound up having to use the hardware that came with the calipers. So keep an eye out for that. Another quick tip when installing these, Everything install, installs exactly like stock, except make sure that you use the caliper bracket bolts from your car and not from the GXP because the GXP has longer bolts for a thicker knuckle and they will potentially go through too far and touch this rotor, which we do not want. So putting this back together is honestly just as easy as putting the stock brakes back. The rotor fits over the top of the parking brake shoes perfectly fits right onto the hub perfectly. And all you have to do is take the, the GXP caliper and bracket and pads and just bolt them right in where the factory caliper bracket was. Like I said earlier, just make sure that you use the caliper bracket bolts from your car and not from the GXP. But you will need to use the GXP banjo bolt to go into the caliper. I didn't have any problems getting my brake hose to attach to the GXP caliper, but I did have to use the GXP banjo bolt as it is a fine thread and the stock 99 is a coarse thread. So you do have to change those, but it still fits in the same hose, so no problem there. And other than that, all a direct bolt up with no problems at all and no modifications. And that's it. So as far as first impressions go, 
Driving, it didn't feel much different. I do feel slightly, and this is one could be completely just mental, but I do feel that it was slightly more balanced to set up, like maybe since I have the Camaro front brakes, having the bigger rear brakes kind of balance the system back out better because it does brake really flat. The car has a great brake pedal already, but it got even better, which could be from bleeding it afterwards, but regardless, uh, braking in general is really good. But the big improvement is aesthetics. I have 17s on the car and the factory brakes just basically disappeared behind those rotor or behind those wheels. You couldn't even hardly see them, but they definitely didn't look impressive. These new ones fill out the wheel really well. They look much beefier, much nicer. If I were to take the car to say a car show or something, this is definitely more along the lines of what I would want it to look like. So still worth doing. It's literally, if you're gonna have to replace calipers on your car anyway when you do rear brakes, it's not much more money. It's just a matter of finding the parts. Um, Rock Auto even has most of these for fairly cheap. Oh, and make sure you check out my Teespring as it has a lot of shirt designs. This is one of them right here. Let me see if I can show you. I know we're talking Grand Prix, but this is my super high output uh, for SHO shirt i know like i said we're talking pontiacs today not fords but you got to respect any car that's a good car and that's one of them so make sure you check that out if this video was informative or helpful to you make sure you give it a like if you didn't like the video dislike the video we'll take it either way make sure that you comment and let me know what you think of this modification and how you think this looks on the 99 and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and peace <laughs>